Hey, what's going on guys? Zach here, just getting off of Lower Wacker Drive. If you're in Chicago, or if you've ever been in Chicago, it's the, the drive that goes basically underneath the city. It's really cool. Um, very, very often there is no traffic on it, which is awesome, um, if you go at the right times at least, because it's underground and uh, there's very few lights on there. But when there is traffic, it's a train wreck because there's only two lanes um, and uh, the, all the locals know to use it, of course. Um, so uh, it can be a giant train wreck, like I said. There was construction on it just now, so I was sitting in this one lane thing for a while, but we broke free. We are alive and well. And I wanna to talk to you today about recruiting like a Navy SEAL. So if you have been on uh, our Facebook page, uh, we did a live thing with this a few days ago and uh, it got uh, got pretty great reception. I was really happy about um, about all the people that enjoyed that and they got some value out of it. Um, so I wanted to uh, make a post about it and uh, make it make it there, make it here, make it available for you guys that come here. If you're not a part of our uh, Facebook page, um, a part of that group, it's just an open Facebook page right now, um, that is, uh, that's something that you should definitely check out. I post a live video once a day, excluding Sundays, about uh, about stuff like this. So, anyway, let's uh, let's talk about it. So, first of all, um, like anything that I don't actually you know make up, which I, ve I make up very little because I'm not that smart. Um, this actually came from someone else entirely. I am use I'm straight up taking this from someone else. I want to make sure that uh, I give credit where credit is due. It's from a guy named Brandon West, and uh, he gave a training audio. Um, actually within our system that I had the pleasure of, of hearing and actually seeing from stage and it was really really helpful to um, to not only me but to our team and uh, it's pretty cool so anyway um, friend of a friend is seeing a Navy SEAL speak and uh, if you guys ever heard of a guy named Jocko Willink uh, he is a uh, probably one of the most famous Navy SEALs that's out there um, because he's built a pretty awesome brand for himself uh, him and his partner Leif they uh, run a coaching business and they do public speaking and wrote a pretty awesome book. I forgot the name of the book right now for some reason. It's, um, yeah, I forgot, I'm sorry. But Jocko Willink is the author and I think he co-authored it with the guy Leif. I just forgot his last name, so L-E-I-F. And uh, it's really, really, they have a really great message. Anyway, they're speaking, they get off stage and a friend of a friend goes back goes backstage and they're asking some questions and they say hey you know you guys want to come back here ask the seal some questions they'll answer them take some pictures etc and so guys goes guy goes back there and he says hey Jocko can you give me an example of a time in buds training where you learned something that was directly applicable to a battle situation and for those of you that don't know buds training is basic underwater demolition SEAL training or something, something like that. It's basically the, the intense training that these SEALs go through. And the way it works is there's a big bell in the middle of the field or wherever you're going to train, there's a bell. At any time, you can ring the bell and make the pain stop, make the whole thing stop, and, uh, and it's over. So it's a really intense program. Um, of all the people that go into training, go make it into BUDS training, only 20% become SEALs. 80% means 80% fail. 80% fail BUDS training. They, cut, they don't, make them, don't make the cut. And these are people that have, they're already in the military. They have, in many cases, been mentally and physically training for this their whole lives. Um, they're jacked up, they're physically fit, they're mentally fit, they're ready. And 80% of these people fail. They don't make it through. And... Uh, that's pretty wild. So, so here's what's crazy. I lost my train of thought. I thought about how I could tell this more effectively next time. I was like, well, maybe I should restart the video, but I'm not gonna restart it because it seems inauthentic. So I'm gonna just keep it going. Anyway, most people don't make it through BUDS training. Wild thing is 80% of the people that quit. So 80% of the 80%. Ring the bell within the first week. These are people that have trained their whole lives that ring the bell within one week. Then people start sporadically falling off throughout the rest of the time. And then another 20% of the people that are still in the game 
ring the bell the last week. They've got seven days left and they still ring the bell. Now, we're judging them from the outside, but I'd probably ring the bell within four seconds. So, these guys, absolutely animals, great stuff. Back to the question. Give me an example of a time where you used a, buzz, a, a scenario in Bud's training that was directly applicable to the battlefield. Jacko looks at him, he says, shakes his head, looks over at Leaf, Leaf's like, nothing, can't think of anything. Next question, just moves on. At first, you kind of brush that off, but then it's like, wait, 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 hold on. What did he actually say? He just said that Bud's training wasn't actually to teach you anything about the battlefield. It was to identify who the real SEALs are. And now, let's talk about your business. When you're talking to people on the phone, when you're trying to talk to people about your business, are you trying to make them a distributor or are you trying to find out who the distributors are in the rough? You're trying to find your diamonds in the rough. See, Navy SEALs have an 80% fallout rate because they make it so hard. The commanding officers actually have things assigned to them that say you sh they get in trouble if they don't fail up to 80%, like 80% of the candidates. If they don't fail that many people, they think the commanding officer was too weak on them, was too soft on them, because they know that 80% will probably drop out if the training is hard enough. The training isn't designed in BUDS to make you a Navy SEAL. It's designed to weed out the people that are too weak to be Navy SEALs, so that you don't find out on the battlefield that this guy doesn't have your back. You find out in training. The people that are next to you, your brothers next to you, they could have to jump on a grenade for you, take a bullet for you, storm into a building with you. You want to trust them 100% with your lives because you went through the same exact, basically, torture that they did. You want to trust them. And you want to find out if you can trust them way before you ever get to the battlefield. Same thing with your business. If you're building your business trying to make people into SEALs, you're going to find out months later on the battlefield of the business that these people are too weak to actually do anything. They're not going to make it. They're not SEALs. They shouldn't barely, they barely made it through basic training. Your filtering process should not be, how do I make this person get into my business? It should be, hey, here's an opportunity. Now, let me try to keep you out. Let me see if I can keep you out of my business while pulling you through the process. So I'm showing you each open doorway. Hey, I know you're interested in making extra money. Here's an open doorway. Watch this video. Tell me what you think. You're showing them the doorway, and then you're seeing if they walk through it, and if they do walk through it, you're saying, okay, now you're questioning them. Are they actually good enough to make it through the other side of that door, or did you just let anybody through? You're not trying to bring people into your business, you're trying to keep people out of your business. You take a high level of action, so you have a big candidate pool to choose from, and then you're super selective. When you do that, you've got a team of people that sticks around with you, they're actually um, able to do things in the business, they can do their volume, they don't whine about you know, doing, uh, doing customers or uh, doing personal PV or personal volume, they don't whine about making phone calls, they want to do all this, they want to attend the trainings, they want to get on the phone calls, they want to listen to the audios, they want to buy their own materials, they want to do all these things because they were Navy SEALs because you did the hard work in the beginning. And it comes down to do you do the hard work up front or do you deal with the repercussions on the back end? Okay, so that's, uh, that's it, that's it guys. That is literally one of the biggest things that we can all do as distributors is recruit like a Navy SEAL. So with that, we'll talk to you soon.